A serious challenge to Netanyahu's leadership. Not from alternate Prime Minister Benny Gantz, not from opposition leader Yair Lapid, not even from within the Prime Minister's Likud party, but from Naftali Bennett, head of one of the smallest factions in parliament, the religious right-wing Yamina party, currently with just five seats. But if elections were held today, Bennett's party would vault to 23 seats, almost all the gains at the expense of Netanyahu's Likud, which would drop to 26, positioning the former defense minister as a potential candidate for prime minister. In a poll in May, Yamina received only seven seats, the Likud 41. The other results from Israel's Channel 12 poll Tuesday have Lapid's Yeshati Telem faction at 18 seats, the Joint Arab List at 15, Blue and White at 9, the ultra-Orthodox Shas at 9, the secular nationalist Israel Beitenu 8, United Torah Judaism at 7, and the left-wing Meretz with just 5. The poll may be seen as a direct result of the public critique of Netanyahu's handling of the pandemic. 65% believe his leadership has been a failure, with just 31% viewing it as a success. Bennett has positioned himself as an alternative, with much of the public usually off-put by the pro-settlement and religious fervor of his list, showing willingness to put those reservations aside in order to deal with the more immediate health and financial crisis. The public also appears unafraid of new elections, with nearly 50 percent in favor of dismantling the current government, despite the fact that Israel is in the middle of one of the biggest crises in its history. Netanyahu himself looked poised to do so himself in recent months, but standing on such shaky ground in the polls means he may not be able to take the risk.